everyone, my name is Kim and I'm the Manager of Education and Youth Programs at the Museum of Fine Arts St. Petersburg. This week, MFA staff are celebrating National Children's Book Week by reading some of our favorite storybooks related to the MFA collection. Today's book tells the story that is depicted in this artwork. Let's look closely for a moment. What do you think this artwork is? What is the story? Our friend Billy, the manager of visitor services at the MFA, is going to read us the book Whale in the Sky by Anne Sipperl. Whale in the Sky. Whale in the Sky by Anne Sibarel. Long ago, the rivers and sea were filled with fish and tall trees crowded the mountainsides. There was no written language among the Indian tribes of the Northwest and storytellers passed history and legends from one generation to the next. Sometimes a chief would hire an artist to carve a story in pictures on the trunk of a giant tree. Whale in the sky is such a tale. The carved tree, called a totem pole, identified the chief and his family, his clan, and tribe. In a time long ago, Thunderbird watched over the sea and land and all of its creatures. One day, he saw a whale, small, on the horizon of the sea. He did not see frog, small on the bank of the river. Frog trembled because whale was growing larger. The salmon swam faster and faster as whale chased them through the sea and into the river. Whale chased the salmon up the river, and Frog was afraid. He called to Raven. Raven flew into the sky after Thunderbird. Whale swallows the salmon and chases them into the river, he called. Thunderbird stretched his great wings wide and flew like the wind. He saw a whale in the river. He grabbed whale in his terrible talons and flew high into the sky. Whale struggled and screamed. Thunderbird flew higher and higher. Then he dropped Whale on the highest mountain. Frog was safe. He thanked his friend Raven. Now there were salmon for the people who live beside the river. Whale gasped and shivered on the mountain. He promised to stay out of the river if he could return to the sea. Thunderbird clapped his great wings and Whale slid down the mountain back to the sea. The chief of the people told this tale to the carver. The carver made the story into a totem pole. Thunderbird holds whale while Raven watches over salmon and frog. The End Thanks, Billy. 
This sculpture is a Kwakwakiwak crest or totem pole by First Nations Canadian artist Calvin Hunt. It was sculpted in 1985 and tells the story of Thunderbird and the whale. Just like the totem pole in the book, this work shows Thunderbird pulling whale out of the river and flying him to the nearby mountain, allowing the people by the river to fish the salmon and have plenty to eat. Thanks again to Billy and to you for joining us today. Tune in next time for another favorite storybook related to the MFA.